Hey everyone, it's Jeremy Hamilton with a fishing report. Uh, so we are in mid-June and uh, things have been kind of interesting. Um, I'm going to start off with, uh, I, I want to talk a little bit about our private water right now. Um, Boxwood Gulch, Long Meadow. Uh, we've also, we also have uh, some new properties that we're able to guide right in Bailey called Rawhide Ranch. Uh, uh, some of you may know it as the old Farmers Union. Um, and then also uh, another one called Shawnee Meadows, which is over by, by the high school uh, in uh, the Platte Canyon High School over on the North Fork. Um, water's running really high there right now, so um, we, are, we are running trips, but, uh, but uh, be aware if, if you're heading out that way that uh, the water's going to be high and it's going to be a little bit more challenging fishing. Uh, we're hooking plenty of fish. Landing fish is, is a problem. Um, so not a problem so much as a challenge. So, um, but, uh, but it's been good. Uh, July hopefully will shape up pretty nicely and, and we'll be able to, uh, to start, uh, really, really seeing better, better fishing out there. But until then, uh, you know, it's been, it's been tough. Abel Ranch, Rolling J Ranch, those have, uh, those have both been fishing fantastic. Uh, so now is a good time to get out to private water. Uh, public water has been uh, has been crowded. Uh, it's you know it, with with everything that's been going on, more and more people are are getting out fishing, which is fantastic. But uh, but it's making everything crowded. So uh, do be aware of that if you're if you're interested in in getting away from the crowds and in having a little piece of water to yourself. We have we have lots of private water. Those aren't even the only ones we have. We have. We have lots of private water. Barta Lakes uh, is is a beautiful, beautiful destination. Terryall Creek. So uh, so give us a call if you if you're looking to to get out and and fish something away from all the crowds. Speaking of crowds, um, so I'm going to start off with Deckers. Uh, Deckers has been the water's low. Um, it's it's uh, somewhere in the 85 to 90 CF ra CFS range. Uh, they're they're trying to fill. Um, Cheeseman Reservoir, it's uh, it's way down. They're trying to fill it before they're going to start releasing it. Good news is that Spinney Reservoir, 11 Mile, are, are all full, and uh, water will start trickling down there and and uh, and starting to fill up Cheeseman. But until then, uh, water is going to remain low. Uh, it's it's a good idea if you're going to go out fishing to to Deckers or Cheeseman Canyon, wherever. Start early in the morning. And, uh, and finish by, by midday. On, on the warm days, the water temperatures are warming up, so, so you do want to be careful. But, but if you do go out there, the fishing has actually been fantastic. Um, caddis are going, and, uh, and we're, seeing, uh, we're seeing lots of bug activity. Uh, mornings have been starting off with betas, bluing olives, uh, little, little stuff, uh, pheasant tails, jujubatus, uh, radiation betas, shot glass betas. Um, you name it, little stuff, size 20, even 22s have been working quite well. In in olive uh, or brown has been has been my best colors. Um, also, uh, some smaller tan worms have been have been picking up fish as well. But uh, but emerger, you'll do want to do uh, like an RS2. <coughs> excuse me, um, a a foam wing emerger or chocolate thunder. Um, uh, uh, Cheeseman emerger is a good one to put on the bottom there, and, and the bar emerger. Uh, you know, again, all size 20, 22. Then, uh, kind of later in the morning, sorry for the shakiness. Uh, later in the morning, it's been uh, caddis, uh, caddis larvae. Do the caddis candy, kryptonite caddis, uh, bars graphic caddis. Uh, a little bit smaller sizes, uh, 18, 16, uh, have been working quite well. In uh, in tans, uh, buckskin has been covering the larva pretty well, also. Um, and then uh, later in the afternoon, I've been going over, switching over to PMDs, red copper johns, red jujubatus, and uh, I mean, of course, larger RS2s. Bar emergers uh, in the PMD have been working fantastic in the afternoon. So, or or as late in the day as you can go without the water getting too warm. Uh, we like to say 68 degrees is about the max. Um, if you are going out and fishing in the afternoon, please do take a thermometer and pay attention to the water temperatures and give the fish a break so we're not uh, stressing them out and killing them. 
Um, so now, further up the watershed, uh, Dreamstream has been good. Uh, water, water's up, and uh, fish, are, fish are on the feed. They are eating uh, leeches, worms, crane fly larvae, betas, PMDs, all the stuff. All the stuff I mentioned uh, at Decker's, all those flies for for betas and PMDs have been working great. Um, but uh, but the addition of of worms and leeches, uh, really dark brown worms, uh, dark brown leeches, black, and, and actually a, a black worm has been has been working really well. And then crane fly larvae. There's some big ones. Fish are really eating them with the higher flows, and uh, and they they've been working really well. Um, so so that's that's been good. Uh, lots of big fish in there, and and then some little fish. Hopefully the suckers. I haven't been out there in a few days, but suckers are kind of tapering off a little bit. Uh, they're kind of finishing up their spawn and, and spreading out. So so hopefully we'll start seeing fewer of those and more trout. But uh, but definitely the the trout have. Uh, uh, they're they're feeding and they're healthy and, and we're seeing some big fish. I actually saw one last week that was that was in the mid to high 20 inch range. It was really kind of a surprise to see. So um, so definitely be on the lookout for that. And, and otherwise, it's been fishing really good. Um, beyond that, uh, Colorado River, uh, it's starting to clear up and, and fishing okay. Um, caddis caddis are taking hold. Williams Fork River. Is, has been really good. Uh, leeches, worms, water's a little high, but uh, but it's definitely fishing. Uh, beta stuff, midges, uh, because it is a tailwater, you're going to see a lot of the smaller stuff there as well. But but some of the bigger flies have been picking up fish. But uh, but otherwise, uh, runoff is kind of starting to come down. All the uh, all the South Park creeks. Um, Alma State Wildlife Area, Badger Base, and Tomahawk. Everything's coming down and, and shaping up. Uh, you can go out there and fish dry droppers, caddis, stimulators, Amy's ants, hippie stompers, all that kind of stuff has been working has been working well, and, uh, and everything's starting to look pretty good up there. Um, that's it. <laughs> that's, that's what I've got for you this week, and, uh, and uh, hopefully... You can get out there and, and uh, get some outside time, get some rod time, and, and catch you some fish. As always, uh, follow us at 5280angler.com, 5280angler on Facebook and Instagram. You can follow me, Jeremy Hamilton Fly Fishing, and I'll see you out there.